Hello, friends. Miss Natalie here. I would like to talk to you about Dockers in Krita. I'm just going to call it Krita. I know it's Krita, but Krita is cute. Okay, what are Dockers? Dockers are the things that stay up on the screen that are related to your tools. Other programs have different names for them, but in Krita, we call them Dockers. Where do we find them? Well, if we go under Settings, hey, you can see that there is a whole thing that says Show Dockers. This is what it looks like if we don't show the Dockers. <gasps> Where did, all, where did all our tools go? They're gone. So if your tools ever seem to disappear, check settings and make sure that show dockers is clicked. That's probably the problem. So there are certain dockers that I just like to have out available all the time um, for just basic work. And I'm going to show you my favorite ones so you can make sure that you have them available too. Um, well, the first one I'm not even going to talk about is the toolbox. Well, I am going to talk about it, duh. But that's this over here. Yeah, if you don't have your toolbox, how are you going to work? Most important one. Um, the next one I really like is the advanced color selector. It lets me just like click, click, click to choose a color. And it gives me a history of all the colors I've used recently, which is really nice. Um, the next one. Oops is the uh, brush presets and the brush preset history, which for me is down here. Um, brush presets, that's just all of the different like things, different kinds of brushes that the program comes with and the size that they are preset to. And then the history is basically what you've been using recently. Recently, I've been using a pencil. All right. Um, uh, another super important docker is the layer docker. We're going to be working in layers. You got to be able to see your layers, be able to move them around, be able to add a new layer. So that's 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 a vital one. And tool options is one that I really like. Um, and it's up. I keep it up here in this tab with uh, advanced color selection and depending on the tool you're going to have a different options so for example in my shape tool i can fill it i can outline it um i can yeah so i could fill it with the foreground color if i wanted uh, i could fill it with the background color if i wanted which apparently the background color is yellow or i could just have it not filled those are my options. Um, if I'm doing a line, then I can have how much is the brush being smoothed out? Um, where does my stroke end? What, what's the pressure? Lots of different things that you can um, work with, figure out. Um, and that's with the uh, freehand brush tool. Different, different, uh, so, uh, selections for every single tool is going to have something different. Tool, something different. So, yeah, those are the dockers that I like to use. Um, they're a little more than that, though, so you can certainly um, play around with the different ones. Which ones do you like? Which ones work? Could have patterns. Small, so many different dockers. So undo history. Hey, that's not a bad one. So play around with it. See which ones you like and go make some art.